Epstein sidewalk remains on this residential street, where there are still many questions about how police shot and killed this man, Ernest Vassell, Wednesday. Vassell was armed with what police now say was a fake rifle. Family and friends described the 57-year-old Vassell, who lived with his family, as a gentle neighborhood fixture. Ernest did not deserve to die like this. Ernest was, uh, I mean, he was autistic and he had mental challenges. He's been in the neighborhood for uh, 31 plus years. Everyone knows him. Everyone is still in shock and disbelief. Police say officers responded when they started getting 911 calls about a man with a gun who then threatened officers. The officer gave commands to drop the weapon. At that time, the uh, commands were ignored. The individual carrying the, uh, the weapon turned and pointed it at the officer, and shots were fired. The weapon, police say, was not a real firearm, but a realistic-looking toy that could be confused with a rifle or shotgun. Officials declined to release a photograph, but insist it was a near-perfect replica. It is very tragic, and what's one of the problems with these replica firearms throughout the country is uh, people don't understand that police officers are going to treat you like that's a real gun until we determine differently. They're not going to take any chances, and you have these companies making these guns for children and anybody to get them. But in the neighborhood, many residents aren't buying the police explanation. You knew that something was up, that, that he had a disability, so it's so strange to me that I can see it, and, and then the police didn't see it, or they didn't look for it. Authorities say they are delaying release of documents until the investigation moves further along. Tony Winton, Associated Press, North Miami Beach, Florida.